Hello children, I am back. Today we are going to understand the past indefinite tense. It is also known as the simple past tense. As the name indicates, we use this tense when we want to talk about the actions that were completed in the past time. Okay, they took place in the past. Look at the example. When I was little, we lived in another village. This sentence states that at present, we are living in some other village. But in the past, when I was little, at that time, we used to live in some another village. Children, it is also used to express past habits. Okay, the habits that we possessed in the past, but at present, we don't possess them. Okay, now look at the example. I woke up very late at weekends when I was a teenager. This sentence shows that at present, I am not a teenager. And when I was a teenager, at that time, I had a habit of waking up very late at weekends. Okay, now let's look at the sentence structure or the formula of simple past tense. So children, we if we want to write down a sentence of past tense, first of all, we write down the subject. The subject can be either singular or plural. Then we write down the verb in the second form. After that, if required, we write down the object and complete the sentence. Now look at the example. We ate some lovely pizzas last night. So over here, we is the subject. We are talking about we. So we is our subject. Eight. Eight is the verb that we are using. It is in second form. It is a second form of eat. So we ate what? We ate some lovely pizzas. So some lovely pizzas is our object. And last night is a clue word. It states, it shows that the action of eating those lovely pizzas was performed in the past. So now have a look at this box or table. Over here we have some clue words, those symbols which clearly state that the action was performed in the past. The action that we are talking about in the sentence was performed in the past. For example, last. Let's say I met him last night. So this last night word tells us that the action of meeting someone was performed in the past. So this last can be written in any form. In the sentence we can say last Sunday, last week, last weekend, last year or last month. Okay. Another clue word is ago. We can say I met him 10 minutes ago or an hour ago, three days ago, a week ago, a month ago, a year ago. Okay. The same is the work of yesterday. If I say I met him yesterday, then the word yesterday will clearly tell us that the action was performed in the past. It has been completed in the past. The same is the case with yesterday morning, yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening, the day before yesterday, etc. Now look at these examples. Rahul came to my house yesterday. Ajay bought this house last year. I heard the dogs barking last night. I helped him three years ago. So in these sentences, 
the green words they all are our clue words they tell us that the action was performed in the past okay now look look at those red words in the sentences came bought heard helped these are the second forms of verbs or the past tense forms of verbs to understand this look at these verbs how we have changed the verb first form into second form so look at the first one come it has changed into came buy bought so children if you closely look at them you will find out that i have completely changed the spelling come came the spelling has been changed buy bought again a different spelling is written but now look at the third and the fourth example hear heard help helped now what i have done i have changed into past tense by either adding d or ed okay so children what happens if your verb is irregular verb then we either change the spelling completely as in go went eat ate dig dug come came so the different spelling from the base form is written at times we do not change at all change the spelling at all the same spelling works as the second form as well as the verb first form for example put put cut cut hit hit shut shut hurt hurt okay so the same spelling is used for the first form and the same spelling for the past tense form but if the verbs are regular then we change the first form into second form by either adding d e d or t now look at the first one the base form plus e d so we form the verb second form by adding e d walk walked play played okay simply by adding ed we are changing into past tense but if the verb is ending in e in such cases what we do we just add d no ed just d for example like liked move moved now children what happens if the verb ends in a y in such cases you will see the letter that is written just before that y if it is a vowel a e i o u in such cases you will just add ed for example play p l a y so how you will change it into past tense by simply adding ed p l a y e d but in case just before that y a consonant letter is there in such cases you will change the y into i and then change it into then add ed okay look at the example carry it will become carried the y has changed into i and then ed is added okay now look at the last segment over here if the last letter of the word is a consonant it's not a y it's an some another consonant and just before that consonant a vowel is there in such cases 
we double the last letter and then we add ed look at the examples that they uh, that uh, are given plan becomes planned with double n stop becomes stopped with double p i hope these rules are clear to you yes okay if your answer is yes then there's a test for you let me see can you get a perfect score on this test now what you have to do is you have to look at those pictures which i'm going to show you then you will tell me the second forms of the verbs that are mentioned on those pictures are you ready let's start look at the first slide look at these pictures and think about the past tenses let's check now push pushed fix fixed pull pulled look at looked at got them right okay now look at the next picture think about their past tenses okay checking time wash washed ask asked color colored look for looked for got them right very good so children these were your regular verbs that is why you just added ed to them now what about your irregular verbs have you understood them also let's check them out okay so let's get started look at these pictures ready for the answers right wrote sleep slept run ran read read now in the last one last example look that we have not changed the spelling r e a d read r e a d read only the pronunciation is changing the spelling is same now look at the next set of pictures and think about their past tenses time out check it out now hold held buy bought hurt hurt hit hit now check your marks perfect so children very nice you all got good marks well done so with this we come to the end of this video take care till we meet again bye bye